Welcome to Cornell Game Day for Cornell Football against Monmouth. Uh, it's a special Cornell Game Day because we're also going to be covering Cornell men's soccer against Yale. But uh, we're, we're on the crescent okay, right now. I'm here with Joe. And uh, it's nothing-nothing uh, or nil-nil. Uh, almost, almost uh, first quarter is almost gone here at Chilcop. Uh Any comments on the game so far, Joe? Oh, this is to fill in both our listeners and you, Ben, since you were late. Yeah, I, I turned up late. Uh, well, Cornell's had a few big plays, but hasn't really done too much. Haven't really gotten even into field goal range. Uh, Monmouth had one good drive, got down to about the Cornell 20, but then a big sack pushed them out of field goal range. And uh, really, it's been a defensive game so far. Defensive struggle. Cornell just uh, got the ball back after having to punt it. Oh! Down in the red zone now, the big red. Uh, Cornell get the ball, uh, got the ball back after a fumble by Monmouth. And it'll be first and goal. Uh, catch from Luke Cagey off of um, Jeff Matthews. Cornell's down. I think at about the four-yard line. And it's a touchdown for Cornell off of that uh, short field off the fumble. Uh, catch from Cagey got them inside the 10. Uh, Silas Cita ran the ball in. And it is seven nothing to the red with just over 30 seconds to go. First corner. He's the holder. All right, touchdown for Monmouth. It's, uh, to attempt the conversion. Uh, decent drive by them, although Cornell defense wasn't really at the races. They gave up some couple of uh, reasonable length passing plays, and the touchdown itself was a, quite an easy run into the end zone. Uh, and it's seven to seven with just under 12 minutes to go in the second quarter. It's 10 to seven Cornell. Uh, short field goal, probably about a, maybe a 20 yard, 20, 25 yard kick after a long Cornell drive, but kind of a disappointing drive. Cornell kept backing itself into a third long situations and had a first down from about the four yard line, but couldn't punch the ball in. Uh, ball went through the hands of Luke Tasker, a running play was botched, uh, and then uh, third, third, the play on third down just didn't seem to come to anything. Matthews was trying to shovel pass and didn't really. Uh, amount too much. Just bounced off the turf and was complete. Any comments on that drive, Joe? Uh, I like the kick at the end. Landed way on top of that deck. Yeah, there. it went up to the uh, Shawcott Memorial Hall. This uh, kicker demonstrated he's got a nice strong leg. Yes, for once this season. Anyway, it's 10-7 uh, Cornell with just under eight minutes left in the second quarter. Touchdown Cornell. It's 17 to 7 to the red. Touchdown for Matthews to Luke Tasker. Uh, another uh, example: of Cornell taking advantage of a turnover by Monmouth. Their quarterback fumbled the ball around the Cornell 40-yard line. Cornell <laughs> drove down the field, and it was Matthews to Tasker on the touchdown. Extra point was good. 17 to 7 to the red. Just under four minutes to go. Dewarker, what team are you know who we're playing today? Dewarker doesn't know who we're playing. We're playing Monmouth College. He thinks he he said. Dartmouth because you know they're clearly wearing green. Yes. And they're clearly Look at the those Hawks. not at really all green, yeah. white and dark blue yeah. green uniforms. Anyway, it's 17 7 to the red, 12 minutes left in the first half. Touchdown Monmouth uh, on, I think it was the first play on the drive after the previous Cornell touchdown. It was a long pass down the left sideline. The receiver has had no one within 10 yards of him and just coasted into the end zone for a very, very easy touchdown. Uh, just a three and a half minutes left. Cornell's defense has been on and off in this first half, but that's uh, by far the worst. Well, almost I would say the worst play they've given up, but the, but the first Monmouth touchdown was also pretty atrocious. Easy run into the right corner of the end zone. Um, and it's 17 to 14. Red still lead with three and a half minutes left. In the so we're back at Cornell football against Monmouth. It's Cornell 34, Monmouth 23, with about 10 and a half minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. And we're here with Joe, who's going to fill you in on everything that you missed while I was oh, at the soccer right. game. Uh, well, certainly after As DeWalker takes I'll pictures going, from man. the other side. <laughs> this is pretty meta, isn't it? Anyway, Joe. Uh, that was the I'll word I used. Commentary on Ben's filming. Oh! Um, but in the meantime, oh, I thought he uh, shortly after Ben left, um, or shortly after the second half started, actually, because Ben left at halftime, uh, Monmouth drove down the field, scored a touchdown to tie, and then the extra point should have put them ahead, but Cornell blocked it, 20-20. Uh, Monmouth drove down the field again um, and got a field goal. Uh, both teams on consecutive drives through interceptions that wind up not counting because the uh, defensive back stepped out of bounds right before he caught it. Um, Cornell has since drove down the field and scored two touchdowns uh, to take a fairly decisive 
leaves. This kid would like to say hello to his mother. Hi, Mom. But yeah, so that, that's about it. Passing now to Walker. And uh, just as I walked in, it was, uh, but with about 10 and a half minutes, as I said, to go in the fourth quarter, uh, Cornell scored a, a touchdown off a rushing play with Silas Masita. Uh, Monmouth has quickly moved on the ensuing drive down in inside the Cornell 30 yard line. No difference. Uh, Monmouth have just scored. They've gone quickly down the field. Terrible, terrible play by the Cardinal secondary in the end zone. Left the Monmouth receiver wide open. Um, and uh, timeout was called before Monmouth attempted their two-point conversion. So it's 34-29 right now with eight and a half minutes left in the game. And the two-point conversion is good. Short pass to the left side of the end zone. It's Cornell 34. Monmouth 31. Eight and a half minutes to go. Touchdown, Cornell. Silas Masita ran it in for about the six. That's his third touchdown of the day. A good drive from Cornell. Some good, uh, finally clicking really, really nicely in the passing game in the fourth quarter. Cornell 41, Monmouth 31, with just over four minutes to go. A touchdown for Monmouth. Cornell is doing their absolute best to, as Chris was just saying to me, snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Um, Monmouth just marched down the field in a couple minutes and uh, have pulled it back to 41-38. And on the touchdown, the Cornell defensive back uh, pulled the Monmouth receiver about five yards into the end zone to get him the touchdown. Making um, it the third missed tackle on that play. Yeah. So it was a really terrible drive on the part of the Cornell secondary. There were you know, missed assignments, guys open. Cornell either should have given them the middle of the field early in the drive to burn out the clock and make Monmouth use timeouts or let him go on the side and not take so many yards. They, Chris, uh, they or, kept sorry, letting Joe? Cornell go out. Uh, they kept letting Monmouth get out of bounds. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of missed tackles. And, they, and the drive. Monmouth converted on a fourth and 11 as well. The biggest so thing uh, was there was no pressure from the, uh, from the defensive line. Yeah. Monmouth's yeah. offensive line was able to keep a good pocket. The upcoming onside kick here, well, we assume onside kick is going to be key. Obviously. Yeah. Cornell needs to recover. Uh, Monmouth has three timeouts, so if they recover this, they'll be in a good position to get into, to get into field goal right now. It's uh, just over a minute to go. Cornell 41, Monmouth 38. Here's the onside kick. Watch it this side. Watch it this side. True. Cornell may need to get one first down out of this. But uh, Cornell will recover the onside kick. Again, just over a minute, six seconds to go. Monmouth has three timeouts. If Cornell gets one first down here. They'll be able to run the clock out and win the game. Final from Sholokov Field. Cornell 41, Monmouth 38. Big Red coming from behind after going behind in the second half uh, and withstanding a good push from Monmouth at the end to try and come back and tie the game and send it over overtime, but Cornell does win, moves to 3-2. and two. Comments on the game, gentlemen? The reason our quarterback just gets so many yards is because our rushing game is terrible. And except, we got, except for out of the Wildcat. That's the only time when yeah, it works. But we had under, I think it was 65 yards of rushing. Total. Something like that. And I think the locker makes an excellent point. Um, and I think the fact that Jeff Matthews wasn't even in today, and we still threw for over 500 yards, um, a back and quarterback. It matches the I mean, the defense certainly wasn't, didn't quite show up as they have in the first couple of games of the season. It was more like the performance that we saw last week against Harvard. Um, but, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I did, you saw more of the game than I did, Joe. So, I don't, I don't, all I have to say is about the second half, or what I saw, basically the fourth quarter, Cornell played pretty well. The passing clicked more, I think, in the second half than the first, from what I heard from you and from what I saw in the, third, in the fourth quarter. Um, overall, a pretty good win for Cornell against the Monmouth team that had a winning record coming in. Uh, next up is a big test in the Ivy League away against Brown. And then Cornell will return home to the Crescent to play Princeton in two weeks' time. That's all for today from Sholokoff Field. Final score, Cornell 41, Monmouth 38.